to thank all the lovely Sailor Moon fans for clicking on this video. You guys mean the world to me. Now let's get started. Hey everyone, Miss Kabumba here. Hope you paid attention to the materials used. We're going to start with red felts. You're going to fold it exactly into shape because this is what's going to be the bow. I used big scissors because I realized my little scissors were not working in my favor. Then I have this other piece of red felt fabric that I cut up because that's going to be below the bow. So it can be, you know, a full ribbon. And I'm just, you know, estimating where I'd glue everything down. You're going to also need a smaller piece of red fabric that you're going to cut up. And you're going to see exactly why you need it. I'm hot gluing that part, letting it dry up. And then I'm kind of squeezing it to see which shape I prefer. And after I squeeze it into that shape, I'm hot gluing it, squeezing it again. Don't worry, don't worry. It's not going to fully open. It's just because you need two layers. And the way hot glue works is that it doesn't close automatically. You got to press it down. All you're gonna need is a hot glue. Come on. Isn't it amazing that you can make so many cool cosplay materials with what you buy at the dollar store? Yay, bow's done. Now let's get into the little details. So, remember the yellow foam paper I had? I cut into circles and hearts. Probably wondering why is she doing a heart if Sailor Moon's shape is in a circle? Well, I'm copying um, a piece that I saw from this one artist who did a black Sailor Moon and I really just wanted to recreate that. I thought it was so cool. Tracing my shapes on the sparkly sticker paper. You're gonna need four of four circles on the sparkly sheet paper and two hearts on the sparkly sheet paper. If you're wondering why, it's cause well, each piece needs a front and back. For the circle, since there's two of each, they're gonna need, yeah, two sticker each. One from the front part and one from the back part. I love these because they just peel off perfectly fine. I don't have to glue anything. So you see me peeling it, peel, 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 and I stuck it down. I liked using the foam, the foam sheet, foam clay type of material with the sticker paper so that it's, you know, a little thick, a little thicker, thickety thick, thick, because I didn't want no flappy, flappy paper. And right here, I'm just, you know, cutting off the edges, cutting off the edges, making sure everything's perfectly aligned together. That's what we want to see. And as for the circles, I'm going to get to that in a bit. We're not done. You're probably wondering, what is this girl doing here? But if you saw at the beginning of this YouTube tutorial, I did a little crown on top of the heart. And I did this because I want to perfectly copy my reference photo. I want to copy exactly how the artist drew her black sailor moon. And that involved cutting these little shapes. It may look tedious to you, but it wasn't tedious at all. I spent all of one Sunday doing the cosplay prop and the makeup look. Just like what we did with the hearts, you're gonna cut pieces on the foam paper and cut pieces on the sticker paper. Look how beautiful the heart looks. Oh my goodness. I love when something turns out better than I expected. And to think I only spent around $15 on all this material. A lot I already had, but it's gonna cost you just about $15 to make this amazing cosplay. Guys, all I had to do was hot glue the hearts on top of the ribbon and I added a pin at the back. Right here I'm showing y'all the process of how I did the little pins. So basically after I had um after I had the circles done, 
I put hot glue. I poured a bunch of hot glue into a circle shape and I threw sparkles on top. That's basically what I did with the heart too. That's just hot glue. The hot glue is absorbing all the sparkles and you're gonna see me brush it off. I'm just showing you how sparkly it is. Yup. There you have it. Come on. Big brain over here. I am obsessed with the results and I'm just touching it because I'm like, wow, it really works. Holy cow, who would have thought? And to make these hairpins into your hair, you're obviously going to have to find out, hmm, how am I going to pin it down? What is Miss Kabumba going to teach us? I got you. I got you. You see the back of these, right? That's where you're going to put the pins. Because these need to go in Sailor Moon's hair. Because are you really Sailor Moon without the like, hair accessories? I mean, like, if you see Sailor Moon, you Sailor Moon. But, like, I just want everything perfectly together. You're going to use a hot glue gun. And you're going to pin that. These little pins, you can also find them at the dollar store for sure. You're just going to pin it at the back. And I'm just showing you guys how I'm going to do it. I'm like, hmm, which way do I want it? I want it that way. See, I just put one line of hot glue. Then you pin her down. Pin her down. Pin her down. Yeah, yeah, what? I like to call myself cosplay engineer. All right, the hairpins are done. The bow is done. You think we're finished now, but no. I just like to do the most. I'm going to show you how to do the choker. Again with the red felt. You're just going to need to cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. And you're going to need some Velcro. Velcro can also be found at the dollar store. But a lot of things I have, I just found around my house. I ain't going to lie. Perks of being an artsy kid. Ooh. When cutting the piece for your neck, measure your neck so that's gonna fit around it. Look, I didn't hot glue it yet. I was just like, hmm, how's it gonna look? And here is when I officially hot glued it. That's all it takes. You can do so much of a hot glue gun, scissors, and fabric. Yep, those are the three pieces of Sailor Moon outfit that I made. You can make your own Sailor Scout cosplay watching this tutorial. And if you think the video is done, the video is not done. Cause I am zooming into all these accessories that were really hard to do. And I'm gonna show you my Sailor Moon makeup look coming real soon. We just, wait, let, let's have a moment for, let's have a moment for all the accessories and props I just made. All right. Now time for the hair. Yay! Okay, sped this video up because are we really gonna watch me do the hair for the rest the remainder of the video? No, we're doing the hair and we're gonna do the makeup. So for the hair, I know you probably looked at me do that one of those buns. Like, girl, what are you doing? You sped it way too quickly. We didn't see nothing. Well, right here, I grabbed a few pieces of my hair. I twisted it all around. Grabbed the small elastic. Used my teeth to open the elastic closed it and I grabbed that pin there you have it now to my hair perfectly put in there now we ready for the makeup hey everyone Miss Kabumba here and we're gonna start the makeup I put this sweater wrapped it because I don't want to get my white shirt dirty let's get into this look that I gotta do pretty quickly <laughs> All right, I started using Remo London's Matte Primer. Then I'm gonna use Ben Nye's Concealer. Okay, I look insane. It looks like a Batman mask on my face. I know, I know. But I put concealer all over that area after putting primer. And then I have my foundation that's gonna go on my skin to make everything even and the primer for sure it's gonna go on the skin i'm not blending it out with the concealer yet as you can see you can still see that concealer mark because that's where the eyeshadow and paint's gonna go now we're getting into the eyeshadow all right so 
what inspired the look right here is me getting what inspired the look right here was me doing a look that resembles sailor moon's transformation when she goes from serena to sailor moon there's always a colorful backdrop so i really searched up sailor moon transformation i saw a lot of these beautiful fan arts and just started copying color schemes that i saw so i'm really just placing colors all up on my face as you saw i started off with yellow pinks went in with some purples and i'm making it even so everything i'm doing with on the left side of my face goes on the right side of my face I'm playing around with the, my face structure. It feels like a kind of like a contour process. It's very much face painting. Like this is, I thought this would take a long time, but it didn't because it's very much the process of slapping eyeshadow on your face. What's super fun about this is you could do it exactly like I did or kind of play around with the colors the way you want to. But all you really need to do is that base that primer concealer that gives you that that batman concealer look yeah the eyeshadow on top is gonna save you right here i'm showing you how the eyeshadow looks all done up done up and i want to get into my palettes we got 35 sweeter waists by morphe and to be manga anime palette by brood cosmetics Ooh, we got athena by you can be all right after finishing all that eyeshadow from those two palettes i use i'm going in with you can be athena because it's a face mint palette i really want to do the moon because you know sailor moon she has a little moon headband but instead of the headband and making one i was like hmm why don't i make it a makeup look now i'm playing around with my eyeliner she doesn't have a huge like eyeliner but anime characters have big eyes since they have big eyes i thought all right i have to do a thick dramatic eyeliner and i have to kind of play around with the eyeliner so it looks like lower lashes i felt like that looks really good on my face with the athena you can be face paints so here i wanted to kind of make it look like sailor moon's ribbon transformation you see those ribbons coming out but i played around and did it in the shape of a heart because it kind of is a heart shape you know so i'm using pink paints on one side and the other side of my face and yeah the rest of the video i'm just really finishing that off and there you have it Sailor Moon look completed. Stay tuned for the Sailor Moon message. Embrace your ideas because they came to you for a reason. So don't be afraid to execute them. The journey will be challenging, but you gotta keep going. Trust me, you'll create something beautiful. Sailor Moon says... Thank you lovelies once again for clicking on my video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified. Love you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.